on it. Well, as we all know, the temperatures have been dropping quite a bit recently. Um, this morning really does feel like a autumnish morning. Quite a lot of mist out there. Everything's a bit damp and horrible. It's a bit cold. I suppose I better start thinking about covering. I do cover in the winter, but I'm not heated. But. Oh, God. Ready? So there's my wooden posts for the top of the pond edge, and there's all my polycarb. But check all the brambles out. I'm going to have to cut that back before I even get in there otherwise I'm going to get sliced to smithereens but I need to start thinking about that not not today, got a few bits on today but probably next weekend maybe maybe in the week depending on how work goes great just another one of those majorly exciting things having to cut the hedge before you get the old the, the posts and the polycarb out one job always leads to about 10 doesn't it hey ho but yeah definitely a lot chillier today I guess the air temperature's got to be around about 10, 12 degrees. Um, so yeah, winter's on its way. Boo. So these lot in here now, they've had uh, four doses of ICC. Uh, they've had one partial water change which was two dumps of the easy pod I'm not quite sure what was the percentage it's about 10% probably and they're looking alright still not 100% certain on the, the small show or whether it's through it or not but it's actively swimming around looking for food now all coming up now But I want to leave it in here without getting it out just yet. For maybe another week or so. But there's no hanging around, there's no sulking. So hopefully we're through. But no, I'm not 100% certain. So the only way to tell will be a scrape and a once over in a bowl. But as I say, I don't want to do that just yet. Hey, so I need to start thinking about, I want to try and definitely move some fish in the next week or two at the latest. Obviously temps are dropping. I need to get them over. So I need to start lowering the temperature in here. Currently at that. Which unfortunately is not that outside, is it? Because of um, it's just turning a bit miserable and grim at the minute and the temperatures are down. It's sort of between 15, 14, 15, 16 if it's warmish out in the main pond. So I need to start getting this down so I can move a couple over. I haven't re-scraped yet. I've had all the ICC and there's still salt in there. Um, probably, I don't know if I measured it actually, but it, obviously it's a bit less because I've been doing water changes. Um, they're looking way better um, so I want to get as I say move a few over so I need to stop doing the temperature I'm going to drop it one degree a day until I get to within a degree or two of outside so if we say it's 15 outside at six days so maybe by Sunday today's Monday um, and I can get a couple out or at least one maybe two maybe three uh, clear up a bit of space inside so um, maybe at some point get the kicker seaway over but way too many fish in here um, maybe that's partly the problem but so I'll start lowering the temperature and then uh, hopefully finally do what I wanted to do all them a couple of months ago was move the not the shower but definitely the Yamabuki and maybe the two bigger shower but I definitely want to keep the chag in here until at least next spring maybe early summer well hopefully I can get it up to 
you know, sort of mid to late 50s, if not 60s, hopefully. But I'm thinking moving a few out and creating a bit more space in here should give that a bit more of a chance as well. And then it gives me the opportunity to move um, anything that's outside that's got a bit of a knock that I need some heat to help heal over here because it's a bit of a dual use pond in here being a grow on and a sort of a, a health quarantine kind of tank one it's easier to, to catch them and two it's obviously if I need to treat anything there's a lot less water to treat so look at a dual purpose thing so I'll start lowering that temperature now so oh. So I'll put it down to 20 and then um, we'll see where we go. It shouldn't, it shouldn't take too long because it's quite cold in the evening so it should drop probably slowly now until the middle of the night and then it'll probably be a bit more rapid. I'll leave the lid up. I do normally close the lid like that and then flap that over there. But I'll leave the lid up as well to help get the temperature down a bit. Cool. I'm actually talking about temperatures. Um, I've been feeding this year JPD Shorey with the colour one as well, I can't remember what it's called, the colour enhancer. But now the temperatures are down, or going down, I'm going to switch to that Kasuri sinking pellet. Because I've also had, I don't know whether it's the food, but Obviously, I switched to a shower this year as well, but the foam, I just can't seem to get rid of it. You know, I don't know whether that's partly due to the food or what, I don't know. So I'm going to switch over to this lower protein stuff now, the temperature's down. And it's actually a sinking pellet as well. So, um, I had fed, it was half a bag left from last winter, which amazingly has got a long life on it, so I'm going to use that for the next few weeks now, and then I'll reassess. What I'm going to be feeding when it's a bit cooler. Probably some wheat gem based kind of food, but you know, there's quite a few out there, so um, we'll have a look. But the foam disappearing would be good, and um, obviously, there's no point in feeding higher protein stuff now because they're not going to be making use of it, and it's probably going to stodge them up a bit or something like that. I don't know, but so that's where I'm at with that now over here. I'm going to continue using it inside. Because uh, obviously I've got the temperature, which we just haven't got at the minute, so hence the switch. Give them a few seconds to realise that they've got to swim down to get it. You haven't realised yet though. It's down. It's down kids, down. They worked it out. Here we go, look. She's down. Just this numps here, look. There's none up here, son. Needs to go down. What's your area? What temperature is that? So yeah, 14 degrees. Wow. But they're still look. They're obviously looking for food. But they know what's coming, I presume. So we're gonna get some. Uh, energy stores for winter. And we'll hopefully see an improvement in that over the next few weeks. It doesn't help I suppose where the shower's positioned, it's holding the, the, this that side. I've got a skimmer over there. Not that I'm pulling a massive amount through it, but if it was that side it would be sucking at least some of it away. There we go. Oh, it's early. Goodness me. So, 
turned the in here down a degree yesterday. Jeez. So I turned it from 21 to 20. So I left the lid up in here. Actually struggling to get down in there because it's quite warm still. Um, door shut, lift the lid up. Oh well, might take a bit longer than first expected to get the temperature down in there, but um, I'll knock it down later on another degree again. Just hopefully at some point during the cold evenings will help at some point, but it obviously wasn't that cold just yet. I don't know what the air temperatures were for last night. Hey, it's going to take a while to do. Um, <coughs> No, I've got a real way of doing it. I can do probably a few more water changes to help. Maybe change a bit of water out. Well, I've got to do a field clean today anyway. I'll change a little bit more water out to help get the temperature down a bit quicker. Uh, as I said, trying to do a degree a day, but struggling as well at the minute with... It's not actually that cold, especially being inside. Obviously, there's some kind of insulation here. Um, I did leave the lid up. But it's not enough. So maybe a few few extra water changes just to help get it down that, at least one degree a day. Um, I'll knock it down another degree later when I do do the water change, and um, we'll take it from there. But well, I'm saying it's cold, but it's not actually obviously that cold. <laughs> Doesn't help us inside though. So okay, we'll get there at some point. check if the hedge fairy's been oh. yeah. so I uh, left the door open this morning till lad went to college he shut it for me it's now down to 20 so I'll knock it down again Uh, just about to clean the filter out and hopefully lose that degree over the next day. Shall we get in there? Actually, while I'm in here doing the filter clean and changing some water, I thought I'd just check my silt reading. Obviously, it's been a while, it's been, I don't know, eight, nine days. Well, it's probably been two weeks since I started adding salt. So I did them four last, didn't I? And I did 25 kilo-ish of salt. So I got it up to 0.6. Right, so still at 0.45. There we go, 0.44. Um, that is obviously one of the drawbacks we're using salt. It does stay in the system for quite a while now. So, <coughs> yeah, just regular water changes to get rid of it, really. I'm not too bothered. Um, as I said, I'm going to be putting a fish in here with a knock at some point anyway. So, having some kind of salt in there is only going to be good for it. Um, and obviously help it, hopefully, to, to heal. Um, but that is, yes, one of the drawbacks of salt. The, the amount of time needed to actually get it all out of the system. I'm not going to be putting anything in here that would um, react with the salt anyway. Because um, if I did need to treat for something like Costa again, or Chilodinella, 
or just go again with the salt and the ICC or the malachite, which is partly what the ICC is anyway, because they can be used safely together. It's the formalin and salt, which is a no-no. But yeah, just interesting to see how, obviously the first time I've used it, how long it does take to actually dilute it out. Um, but yeah, there we go. Edge cutting monkey still not been. Gonna turn up at some point surely. Uh, look. So just gone in here, chuck a bit of food in. And the temperature's going up now. So I've got TDS meter here that also does temperature. Use it for work. So see if the um, sensor's broke on that or whether I'm generating heat somehow from in here. So. Well that's um, 18 degrees, so. So that's 19 degrees. So we're a degree out. Interesting. Well, okay. That's not terrible news. It's a bit cooler than I think. So I'm a degree out, so it is actually at 18. So I can knock it down to 17-ish degrees there, which will then bring it down. Uh, 17 there will be 16 here, that's too much. Well just keep knocking it back. Well, obviously I don't want the heat coming on till really, I'd rather just, it seems to be losing about half, of, half to three quarters of a degree a day so. Oh, hey ho, here we go. So what have I got it at? So I'd it at 17 anyway. So if I put that at 16, it should mean this is at 15. But that'll only happen, obviously, if it drops and cools a bit. I think I'll just leave the door open for a bit to help, and I'll come back and check on it in a bit. So 15.2 degrees out here. Seventeen point two in here, so it's two degrees. Ideally, I would like it within one degree, but I just can't. The temperature in here doesn't is not going any lower than up there. Eighteen point two, which is a degree different to the actual temperature. Seventeen point two. I'm just gonna gonna move one over now. The Yamabuki. I'm gonna obviously float it for probably half an hour, forty minutes, something like that, uh, just so the temperature drops down a bit in the bag, and then um, we'll get that over there. But I'm slowly running out of time to move stuff, so I'm not being able to get the temperature down here quite as quickly as possible. It's been a week now with the heater just off, and it seems to be resting at 17 degrees, so I can't get any lower than that, even if I leave the door open in the day. So the uh, having it a well-insulated tank is probably not always the way to go, is it, when you're trying to reduce the temperature. Maybe a heat pump would be a better option in that case, because you could cool the water as well, but... It's not, it's electrically heated in here, so, oh well. Well, as I say, I'll get it out, bag it up, get it over there, leave it floating for a bit, and then um, join the big boys and girls over in the main pond. Just slowly get some of the stock in here down. Um, there we go. The next thing you'll see is the bag in the pond. Well, the next thing you won't see, the next thing you see won't be the fish in a bag in the pond. Obviously, I'm gonna have to net it, before I bag it, I need to check it over, didn't I? So, here it is. Just going to give it a quick once over. Now, I did scrape the other day, didn't find anything on them, so costly are gone, but although I'll talk about the, the small shower at some point later on. So I scraped four fish, and they were all, it was all clear. So, happy, happy.
colour's way down on this fish, but obviously with it being inside, it's to be expected. But they not to play with the big kids. It's not our teeth, but I'll leave it for a half hour or so, and then um, I'll let it out of the bag. We chill out in a minute. Panicking. Making friends with a new fish. 